All right, hello everyone. My name is Arkham. Welcome back to another figure review. I haven't done one of these in like three weeks now, or two weeks actually. So, <clears throat> as we did Keflin in the last one, I am going to be doing Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku from 2021 Comic Con, uh, San Diego Comic Con. So, I pre ordered this through the Premium Bandai website. So, it took a while. Luckily, it wasn't delayed like all the other ones that I ordered, so there's that. Uh, you can see me in the background. Hi. Um, <clears throat> I haven't opened this, so this will be my first time opening it. Uh, so, yeah. Let, let me get it right out of the box. The, the box is really good, honestly. It's, it's one of the bigger boxes that I have for the figure. It shows pretty much everything. And honestly, it looks awesome. So yeah, let me get this right out of the box, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here we have Kaioken Goku, or Kaioken, Blue Kaioken Goku, in all of his glory. If the camera is a little shaky, it's because I'm actually holding it instead of having it in my stand. So, what does he come with? It It's not actually, it's actually not a lot, which is a little surprising for being a Comic-Con exclusive, but this right here is the what takes the cake for me it's like this is the more probably the best thing to come in an exclusive so what does he come with he comes with let's just get a little closer he comes with six uh hands technically three pairs a without taking into account the the one that he already comes with so technically four pairs of hands uh there is the two um Fighting stand hands, the grasping hands, and the key blast hands. He also comes with three different, three extra uh, facial expressions. Please focus. The sun. Why? It's not even sunny outside. It's it's cloudy. Wait, give me a second. Yeah, damn it. Wrong way. There we go. Much better. All right, so he comes with an angry expression, a shouting expression. Got them at this camera angle is not good. There we go. And then a smirking expression aside from his blank face. So I will be posing him in a minute, but I do say, I will say like the energy stand is honestly such a cool thing. And as you can see, he stands pretty well. Like I'm like moving the table and he's still standing, especially the, the, he, he actually feels very heavy. And I think that's one of the reasons, uh, and one of the reasons why I think he's super heavy, not super heavy, but like he's heavier than usual is because of metallic paint is being used for his clothing, which makes it have, which in the end makes the, how it can feel uh, for, for the clothing, which honestly pretty good. It's very smelly with the chemicals, but honestly, I think the odor will like fade out if you have them on display th during time. Something I did notice, uh, something that I actually am not fond of is the, if we look at the back of him, his knee joint. First of all, it's like, it seems to be a little lower. Maybe it's just because of my pose, but it's, it's flesh tone. I feel like that could have been um, orange, but I understand why they did it. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it uh, so far. Uh, so yeah, let me get him into some posts to see what I can get out of him. I'll be right back. And actually, before we get into poses, let me actually show the joints. So he has the butterfly joints, which honestly, they're pretty good. Honestly, they don't feel... In all honesty, they don't feel... Uh, disjointed or very loose everything in this figure feels tight you can just hear the movement of it it's it looks it sounds amazing although i th yeah they still have so there's a difference i noticed from newer models where this section has been taking off taken off the figure which does give it better movement overall. So kind of disappointed they didn't do this before releasing this figure, but honestly, not that big of a deal. He has movement on the neck, 
uh, unlike Kefla, like last time, Kefla cannot move her neck at all. It's mostly just her head on the ball joint. So yeah, he can do pretty standard head movements. He can look side to side and everything. Uh, arm rotation. Can fully rotate the arm. Same as the hand, of course. Uh, the crease. Is, is that what it's called? Or like arm folding? Pretty much 90 degrees. Honestly, that's not bad. Same with the other arm, I'm pretty sure. Looks a little bit... Actually... I feel like this one can go in a little more. I don't know if you can guys, you can see the difference. So yeah, uh, legs. Much better than a 90 degree angle. Pretty good. I would say probably a 110 degree angle or something. I don't know. Uh, math is not my forte. But also the torso. Pretty basic from SH Figure Arts. Not the biggest deal. So yeah. Now the also oh yeah last thing, the legs. So yeah, or not the legs, but the the feet. Is it is it stuck? There you go. I was wondering why I said a little hard. No, but yeah, let me get into some posing, and I will be right back. All right, so like every other SH figure, it's kind of annoying to pose, but the first pose here is the. A basic fighting stance, honestly. Uh, his basic fighting stance. It. I'm honestly surprised that he stands up so well. The movement on this figure is actually really good. Compared to like Kefla. Where most of her joints. Like her head is so big that she cannot keep balance. In certain poses. But this guy, he's balanced all around. It's, and I think it's mostly due to the. To the weight of the body. Like the legs feel heavier than the torso. Therefore it's going to weigh him down a lot better on the legs. So yeah, this is the first post. Let me get him into another one. All right, so I wanted to go with more of a basic pose, you know, like a charge-up pose, just to really show how well he stands. Like, honestly, I'm more amazed on how well he's able to stand more than the actual figure himself, you know? Because <laughs> figures really can't stand depending on how heavy they are. And him being heavier than usual... Honestly, I would recommend, like, for those that weren't able to get this figure, whenever they reissue it, honestly, I will say, 100% get it. It's such a cool figure. It does not have any, like, um, attack effect effects or, like, key blast effects, but it looks cool nonetheless. And my camera is just horrible. But, again... It looks amazing. Nothing too bad. And I'm trying to like recreate the poses in the in the in the box right here. Uh, don't don't mind that. That that's that's for another thing. But uh, I'll let me get one last pose. I'll try to get a more complicated one. So I will be right back with the last and final pose. All right, here's the last pose. I apologize for having to hold the head, but. As, as well as he can stand, he cannot stand on one leg. <laughs> no figure can. And if they can, I'm, I will be shocked. But no, again, articulation, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, pretty much any basic ACH figure arts. He has very sturdy uh, joints, which does give him some other points. So I'll bump it up to an 8.5. Uh, paint job, uh, honestly... 9 out of 10. The only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 is because of the damage, uh, the battle damage. I don't know what's up with uh, Bandai or Tomashi, Tomashi Nations that they do not like painting battle damage on their figures. For example, uh, the Goku has some significant battle damage from like the fight against Jiren because he is the Goku from the fight against Jiren. So him not having any battle damage is kind of disappointing. But, honestly, you can't ask for too much. Now, let me just lay him down there for a second as I finish here. Uh, but yeah, uh, even putting the hands, it wasn't as hard as with Kefla. They actually slot in pretty well. I will say that I broke uh, Kefla's joint. I don't know what happened to it. I might be able to fix it. I don't know. Um, 
but yeah, one thing I will say, careful with the legs. I think it's pretty much any issue with the legs where you can like pop them out. I was able to pop this one out. Luckily, they can slot back in, but this piece right here, the buttocks, is separate. It's a separate piece. It's not like glued to the figure. So careful with that to not be able to not lose it. So yeah, I will end it right here. Overall, the figure with whatever with all of the things that it comes, I will say that I paid around the seventy dollar range for this, but I will say it was completely worth it. So yeah. Overall, I'll give this this figure an 8.5 out of 10. Um, it's good. It impressed me a lot with the standing. But the disappointment in, like, not having enough, enough like, separate um, accessories is kind of downgraded, and especially for a Comic-Con exclusive. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, um, stick around. I will have another one. Uh, soon enough. Hopefully it doesn't take two weeks. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, again, stick around. Subscribe for more. I never ask people to subscribe, so, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.